These are some historical photographs of a uh, plein air painting, uh, which became popular in France uh, really beginning in the 1840s and the 1850s uh, when commercial paints became available. So I'm talking about metal tubed paints uh, that didn't have to be mixed in the studio. So it allowed artists to go outdoors, paint in the open sky, um, and sort of experience the effects of light and dark, uh, atmosphere, morning, dusk, um, all of the four seasons, of course. Um, so it really opened up the realm of possibilities for artists to capture the effects of light, one of the guiding principles of uh, French Impressionism and, of course, of American Impressionism as well. Um, when we talk about artist colonies, um, we, we can go back uh, to the European uh, example of uh, the Barbizon painters who flocked, flocked to um, the Forest of Fontainebleau just outside of Paris, about 30 miles or so. So beginning around the 1830s through about the 1870s, um, artists uh, in this group included uh, Theodore Rousseau, um, Narcisse Diaz de la Peña, um, and Charles-Francois Daubigny. And there are some examples uh, of their work. So this was sort of a brotherhood uh, of painters who uh, sort of escaped uh, the rigors of the city and their studios, and um, went into the forest and painted uh, out of doors. Again, it was the commercial availability of those uh, ready-made paints um, that made this process uh, possible. A little, bit, a little bit later in the century, too, of course, uh, artists began to flock to Giverny. Um, artists such as uh, Claude Monet, uh, who was followed by a group of uh, American, Canadian, um, and other artists of other nationalities um, who gathered near the Hotel Baudy uh, near Giverny. Uh, and so Americans that, that went there include Jean Les Leslie Breck and Theodore Robinson. Um, uh, Monet was not the founder of the colony at Giverny, but certainly was among uh, the most famous of its artists there. 